Hello, Hornets. We're going to be taking a look at the derivative of tangent and cotangent in this video. So we're going to start off by just looking at the derivative d dx of the tangent of x. Now, in order to do this, we're going to have to use our uh, ratio for the tangent. So we're going to do a direct substitution with what it equals. And the first thing I notice is that by putting this into the ratio sine of x over cosine of x, I now have a quotient, and I can use the quotient rule. Low d high less high d low, square the bottom, and away we go. Now, once I've got this, I want to make sure that I find the derivative of my numerator and my denominator. Now, we know that the derivative for sine is cosine. We saw that just the other day. And we also saw at that same time that the derivative of cosine is a negative sine. So if I now start substituting my pieces in place, I end up getting cosine x, cosine x, minus sine x, negative sine x. Now I have to be careful. We call that cosine squared x in the bottom. Because that negative that's sitting back there has to be multiplied and we'll change this into a sum of squares. Cosine squared x plus sine squared x divided by cosine squared x. Now we know by our Pythagorean identities that the cosine squared x plus sine squared x is 1. 1 over cosine squared x means that this is really the secant squared x. So I'm now looking at this as my answer to our original question. Let's go back to it. The tangent of x derivative is the secant squared x. And there we go. Now it's a lot better to memorize this than have to derive it each time, so please keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the, the cotangent now. When we're looking at d dx of our cotangent of x, we're going to follow our same basic steps. We're going to start by taking the ratio, which is cosine of x over sine of x. And because the ratio is a quotient, I can now use the quotient rule. Notice that quotient rule is absolutely imperative. Otherwise, we have problems. We also have already seen that the derivative d dx of the cosine of x, excuse me, is negative sine x, and the derivative d dx of the sine of x is cosine x. Now we're going to do our direct substitution again. Negative sine x times sine x minus cosine x times cosine x all over sine squared x. Well, these have a negative in common. So I'm going to factor that negative out and rewrite it as the sine squared x plus cosine squared x over sine squared x. Once again, our Pythagorean identity allows us to substitute and change it into 1 over sine squared x. And we know this to be the negative cosecant squared x. I'm now going to take that answer and apply it to the derivative, which I can now use, as long as I can remember it, And that's the derivative for tangent and cotangent. Thank you very much. Be well and be safe.
and take care. Thank you, Hornets.